Okay, today we're at Cam Spray and we're going to do a little walk around and demo of the TT 4025HZ 350 Cam Spray Drain Jetter. As you can see, we've got 20, plenty of tool storage on this thing. And we've got a HOTS diesel 74 horsepower turbocharged intercooled with over center clutch. And this engine is all EPA Tier 4 final approved. We've got a heavy duty pump doing 25 gallons per minute, 4,000 PSI. We've got full hydraulic system on this to run the reel. We've also got an 18 gallon antifreeze tank, you can see tucked back in there. Uh, we've got a 27 gallon fuel tank. And then as we go back, your 350 gallon tank that's also got a level indicator over there on the other side. We've got 150 foot of garden hose on a reel that you can use for tank fill and also use for wash down after you're done jetting. We've got two inch hydrant fill. And on the back here, we've got a full heavy duty slide out reel that'll also swivel. We've got manual water controls. We've got a Murphy panel. We've got a full remote system with remote valve. And on this side, we've got your hydraulic real controls. So Michael, if we wanted to get ready to fire this thing up, what do we got to do to, what do we want to check over before we get started? Well, the first thing we're going to want to check is our oil level in our pump, which you can see here, um, about halfway up the sight glasses, right where you're going to want to see that. Um, okay. Another thing to check, we have an over center clutch here. Um, towards the motor is going to be engaged, this will be disengaged. We want to start this up usually with it disengaged and most of the time you can start it up with it engaged. Okay, and that, that over center clutch will also let you run the reel without running any water. Correct, of course, too. if we have our uh, clutch disengaged here we'll be able to use our hydraulics and uh, control our reel. Okay. If we go to the back and we're ready to start this up, the first thing we're going to want to do on our Murphy panel is just have the key on. At this point, our remote control is going to be ready to use. Now to turn the remote control on, the first thing you're going to want to do is turn this master switch on just by twisting it. Pop it up. you got two flashing lights here. We're going to want to press both those together until we hear the beep. Now when we're ready to start this, we just hit both of those again and release them. And the engine will start up and idle at 1800 RPM. Okay. Um, so what else does that remote control when you see all the buttons on there? Well. Um, we got our valve open and our valve closed, okay. and that's going to control our water valve here. So right now our valve is open. Um, you can see it's going to close the valve, or you can open the valve here. Okay. Um, another function we have is going to be an auxiliary function. We have this one hooked up to an LED light on the back. Oh yeah. You can use it for multiple 12 volt sources. Okay. Um, shut that off. The other thing we can do is control our throttle. And when we're using the remote control, we have the um, the throttle down position is going to be 1800 RPM. The throttle up is going to be our full 2700 RPM. Okay. Um, engine stop. Um, if we use this engine stop, if you're on your throttle up, it's going to throttle it down first and then shut off. You also have the option of killing it here. With okay. The emergency stop or here or shut the key off. Um, so All right. So now... Uh you can also operate everything from the panel, correct, without the remote? Correct. If and you've got a manual manual, manual valve here. here. Yep. And then when you do that, you just want to make sure the remote valve is open? Correct. So right now our remote valve is open. So we can just shut our remote control off. And then if we walk back to the Murphy panel here, if we press this auto button, that will allow us to switch to manual mode. In which case we can now start the engine from this green button here and control our throttle um, with the rabbit and the turtle here. Okay. A um, couple other functions we can use in either manual or with the remote control mode. Um, we can have engine RPM. This is our fuel level um, shown 56% in there. Um, this is our percent load. Our water discharge pressures on here. Um, coolant temperature, battery voltage, oil pressure, and oil temperature. Okay. So what other, now you were uh, when you talked about the rabbit and the turtle, we can make adjustments of, what was it, 100 RPM? 100 RPM um, in manual mode, and we can hold this down and ramp it all the way up to 2700. goes up uh, 100 RPM per second or 100 RPM per button push. Okay. Uh, what other safety devices are in this, you know, that are wired into the panel or on the, on the panel, machine? Um, well, we have a pressure transducer on here. So 
if we go over 4,300 PSI for more than two seconds, okay. it's going to shut it down. Um, so it won't allow you to, um, if you have a plugged up tip or anything like that, and we see a overpressure spike, it's going to shut the unit down so we don't blow any hoses. Uh, and then what about, uh, what about your fuel? Is there any safety for the fuel usage? Yeah, on the, on the fuel level in this panel, is when you get down to 10% of a tank, you're going to get a warning. And when you get down to 5% here, um, it'll actually shut the machine off and it won't allow you to run it. And that's kind of important on these diesel engines because you don't want to run them out of fuel completely because you'll trap air in the system and it's, it can be a real pain to get started after that. Okay, well I think we kind of went over the finer points of what the controls are and the remote and the Murphy panel and manual controls. Why don't we go ahead and fire this thing up and uh, we'll just run the video. It's going to be a little bit hard to hear us talk, so we probably won't be doing it, but uh, let's just let it run a little bit. All right, we'll do it in uh, remote control mode first. We'll want to switch back here. Okay. want to go up and uh, engage our clutch in order to move the Okay. Water. Good. That was valve open and valve closed. And now we'll just throttle it up to the full 4,000 PSI, 25 gallon a minute. You can see we've got some pretty good water flow through there. We've got the grenade nozzle running today, where we've got the majority of the water moving backwards, cleaning out the pipe. There we go, we shut the valve down. We're back open. Now we're back down to the 1800 RPM. We ramp this back up. If we go back up to throttle up, and we want to shut the machine down, we're going to hit engine stop. Going to throttle the engine down and then shut off. Um, another way we can shut this off is hit the emergency kill here. This will be an instantaneous shut off no matter what RPM you're at. You also have the emergency shut off we showed you on the Murphy panel. Well, that's awesome. I think anything else we need to touch on, Michael? I think we could go ahead and run it again in manual mode this time without, okay. without the remote control. Obviously, you want to make sure your valve, your water valve, is open when we do this on the remote. And then it we're not using the the valve that's controlled by the remote. We'd use the valve down here. Correct. This is going to be a manual valve. And okay. It's on right now, so we're ready to go. Okay. So we'll just go ahead and switch this over to manual mode and hit our start button here. This is going to give us about 900 RPM on this one, and we can increase RPM by about 100 at a time. Or we can go ahead and uh, just hold this down. Okay, well that about does it. Uh, just get a hold of us here at Cam Spray at 800-648-5011. If you want any more information on the TT4025HZ350 or other variations or other jetters larger and smaller, or check out our website at www.camspray.com. All right, thank you.